Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be showing you guys how I cut my front framing layers. So basically the layers that frame your face. Um, this can be considered a bang tutorial as well, just depending on how short you take the shortest portion of your layers. For me, I kept them a bit longer just because I like to tie my hair back without any hair falling out. So I debated whether or not I'd cut them shorter. For me, if I were to do my long um, side swept bangs, if you will, I probably would have cut up to my chin, whereas I cut maybe two inches below my chin. That's the shortest piece there, so yeah. Um, like I mentioned, I kept them longer just because I like to tie my hair back, so if you're someone who likes to tie your hair back, I would suggest keeping them longer, but if not and you want a little bit more definition around the face, um, then feel free to just take your layers, um, take your first layer shorter than I did and continue to follow all the steps that I'm going to be explaining going forward. One of my main reasons for um, cutting the layers in was just because my hair was getting really long and I felt that it just like felt really flat so because there's not a lot of volume to my hair as is so cutting the front layers gives a little bit of volume in the front and a little bit of um, dimension you know so that's the reason why I like to cut front facing layer front framing layers every once in a while so if you want to see how I do it myself and you wanted to give it a try then just keep watching and hopefully you guys learn something with my dry ass lips okay guys so to start off you'll need a tail comb a wide tooth comb a pair of scissors two clips hair tie and let's go. So uh, you're just going to part your hair down the center. No matter where you part your hair naturally for this, you're going to want to part it down the center. And then taking your uh, tail comb or your fine tooth comb about an inch and a half to two inches into your hairline, you want to comb down towards the back of your ear, stopping at the top, creating kind of like a rectangle shape. Then you take your hair tie and you just tie back the bigger section of hair so that it's out of your way and you don't get, you know, confused and messy. So starting from the top, you're going to create a triangle. Um, a rough guide would be the highest peak of your eyebrow or the center of your eyeball, if you will. It's kind of hard to say because everyone's face is different and proportioned differently. So it's just a rough uh, guideline. Basically what you're doing is you're creating a larger triangle from the two triangles and that is going to be your starting point guide. So with your fine tooth comb, you want to comb straight down, causing tension with your hair between your two fingers, causing tension. And then once you finally decide a length, that's what I was thinking about right there. Um, you're going to go ahead and trim your first piece. I start in the center and then continue to comb straight down with tension and um, cut the left side and the right side using that middle guide. Um, notice how I'm bringing the hair up. My, my fingers are firmly holding the hair where they last stopped when I drag them down. Um, so the tension and control is still there. I basically just, you know, tighten my fingers so that the hair doesn't move and then bring it up to a point where I can actually see what I'm doing. So if you're going to be doing that, make sure you're holding the hair firmly between the two fingers. Then you're going to take uh, one side and you're going to start blending that first guy that you cut into the rest of your hair because at this point, um, it's literally what we would call, I guess, a step. It's like a very blunt, um, non-blended cut, right? So you'll see right there, it's like cut and then drops down quickly. So we don't want that. What we want to do is comb the hair in the direction of your section. So as you can see, the section itself is kind of like diagonally um, shaped. You're going to want to comb your hair down in that direction. And you're going to want to do that um, towards the ground. And then you're going to cut starting from the bottom of this section you picked up towards the top where your guide is. You don't want to grab the entire hair, like section of hair, and then cut 
um, to meet that top guide because then it'll just be really blunt, short, and you'll look like you have a mullet. So what you want to do is take a little bit of what you already cut and a little bit of what you haven't cut and hold the hair diagonally over directed so that you're meeting that top guide. And your goal is to blend the hair as you go along. And you'll notice I'm not necessarily cutting it along my two fingers. I'm basically using my two fingers to hold my section firmly and then cutting what I would explain as an imaginary line to meet that top guide. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit of that first section that I've already cut and a little bit of a new section that I haven't yet cut and comb downwards, over direct, and blend the two together. And by over direct, like I know you're probably like, what the hell does over direct mean? Um, I guess the way I would explain it is comb it as far over as possible so that the guide and the new part that you're cutting, I guess like kind of blend and just don't have like a huge jump or like step in what you're cutting. Like it doesn't go from like super short to super long. It might still happen, but by trying to over direct as much as possible, you're going to avoid having a choppy look. So now you're going to continue that middle part all the way to the back and section your hair off into two sections, combing the hair frontwards, wards, frontwards. And guys, watch this video way more than one time if you're going to try doing this yourselves because I'm kind of having a hard time explaining it. And so you'll want to see what I'm doing as well as kind of hear what I'm doing, read what I wrote, and kind of <laughs> uh, figure out what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah. So here we go again. We're basically doing the exact same thing, combing forward, and you want to connect that first cut guide with your hair as you go down, but you don't want to chop it off bluntly and have a mullet. So you're going to want to over direct using your fingers as a guide. And see how I'm only trimming the top portion of that section that I even have picked up? Because to me, that's too big of a chop. So I'm not comfortable with it. So I'm going to go in again, comb again, over direct again until I'm comfortable with the length that I'm chopping off. See, that's a bit less of a section now. It's hard, I'm not holding it properly. <laughs> so there's the top guy that I wanna to cut towards. So I'm cutting to meet it, but I've left the bottom portion of the section I picked up because I don't wanna chop off too much. So I'm gonna comb again, over direct so that I took a little bit of that last cut and I'm blending it with the new cut get it? A little bit of the last section you cut into the new section. That way you're not having a gigantic jump in length. You're blending as you go down towards the length, the longest portion of your hair. So here I'm going to cut towards that. See, I'm not cutting along my fingers. I'm just imagining, wow, imagining a line and trying to cut, um, yeah, trying to cut that line. This is so hard to explain. This is so funny. The good thing about having really long hair is this does not have to be a perfect cut. When you have long hair, you can kind of get away with it. If things aren't, you know, super um, leveled and all that stuff. Like if you do this and then go to a hairstylist, a good hairstylist is going to pinpoint exactly where you cut your hair because they would know just by lifting and moving the hair around with their comb and two fingers um, like when I go to my stylist, she's like, do you cut your hair again? And I'm like, yeah, like there's no way to get a perfect cut when you're doing it on yourself, just because you're not going to be holding it at the right angles all the time. You can just try your best and do your best. If you have shorter hair, I would not recommend trying this at home. Definitely go and get your hair cut, please. I'm like, seriously, just go. So are we going to talk about that little piece of hair just hanging out there on my upper lip for most of the video now? Don't judge me. So anyway, this side you're going to notice that I'm cutting a lot more than I did on the other side. That can be two reasons. One, I'm turning my head and I'm seeing myself turn my head. Don't turn your head when you do this. But it's kind of bad habit for me. Secondly, when I was, um, when I did my last haircut, like my full head, I probably uh, left that side of my hair longer. And that's why as I'm cutting along now... I have a lot more hair to cut off than I do than I did on the other side. So basically that's why I wasn't cut properly the last time I cut my hair.
see how that was a huge jump? So I'm gonna comb again until I'm comfortable. And then I'm gonna cut a line, an imaginary line. And yeah, you're just repeating this throughout the entire process. As you get to the longer layers, it gets a little trickier. You wanna comb down and like over direct and angle that hair so you're definitely not losing as much length. Like the more you over direct, the less length you lose, which is what you want. Hopefully you guys got an understanding for what the hell I'm doing. If you, It's easier to just watch what I'm doing rather than um, listen to what I'm saying because I'm like in between trying to use like, you know, common vocabulary rather than, you know, vocabulary you actually learn when you become a hairstylist. So not everyone's going to know that. Um, okay, so now I'm just going over with my fine tooth comb. This is going to help really show me where um, the unbunded areas are because it's holding the hair a lot closer together, a lot like firmer. So I'm just going to go in, do the exact same process, and just clean it up a little bit. So you can see right here how choppy that is. Like there's a, like almost like a hole, you see that? And I didn't even cut the very top, but if it was, if I were to do it over again, that very top point would have been cut right there. Also guys, I forgot to mention to keep a spray bottle with water in it near you while you do this, or just, you know, keep going back to the bathroom and wetting your hair. When you're cutting your hair, you, you either want it all wet or all dry. You don't want it to be in the drying process. Um, while you're cutting because that's going to leave you with an uneven cut like for sure hands down So yeah, I'm just going to finish up there Looks like everything seems to be as clean as I can get it And when you're done, you're just going to style like you normally would I use some volumizing products that I'm going to be reviewing in the near future from Schwarzkopf And yeah, you'll see here now all of a sudden I have more dimension framing my face a little bit of oomph rather than just long hair that hangs and looks all scraggly. So hopefully you guys will try this yourselves if you're confident enough. If not, that's totally cool. I just hope you guys enjoyed watching me do it. I will see you guys in the next one.